As the mother of Jewish children whose grandparents are Holocaust survivors, I have been asked by my son to use any voice I have to affirm as loudly as possible that never again means never again for everyone. That's right. And as I'm sure many of you guys have seen these videos circulating with Cynthia Nixon, the actress from Sex in the City. And she also, I believe, ran for office um, a couple of years ago, or maybe even was just last year. Time is flying by so fast. But Cynthia Nixon has always been an advocate for people. She's always been a person that's championed um, standing up for the rights of others. She's a very vocal person, very similar to this woman. You guys know who she is. Actress Susan Sarandon, right? Thelma and Louise, beautiful woman. She was with Tim Robbins, the actor for a long time, the guy that acted in Shawshank Redemption. She's a famous actress, right? She was an Enchanted, for some of you younger millennials and Gen Zers. Um, and she's always been very vocal about her decision, just like Cynthia Nixon, to stand up for whatever she believes in. She has gone out and become the face of L'Oreal Paris. She has done lots of acting. She's well known in the industry. But did you guys know that recently she was just let go? She was recently let go because of her decision to speak up about what is going on in Gaza right now and what is going on with the nation's fighting and all of the horrific crimes that are being carried out by the nation of Israel. Now, I wanted to read this to you because this is one of these things where I don't think the mainstream news ever will report on um, what they're actually doing. They'll put it out because they have to, right? Like they have to. Um, a lot of these people's publicists will write and say, hey, this is what happened and we're bringing this information to you. Please publish this or whatever. Or the management will say, we dropped her. We don't want any anything to do with Susan Sarandon because we do not want to be tied to a woman that is pro-Palestine. So United Talent Agency no longer represents Sarandon, it says um, from a spokesperson. And this was confirmed just Wednesday, uh, November 22nd, 2023. This would have been last week. Now, I didn't even know about this. My husband brought this information to me and said, did you know? And I'm like, well, let me just be clear with you. Anyone, and I mean anyone, I don't care if you're Susan Sarandon, I don't care if you're um, Taylor Swift, you know, one of the most popular people. But if you do not toe the line and follow the orders of the higher elites and the above and the people who truly run this world, and you guys know who these people are, so very people were fighting or that Palestine is fighting right now. And I hate to sound like one of those people that I don't believe in conspiracies as much as people think. I believe in what people do, what they show you, what they actually show you they're doing. You know, talk is cheap. Anyone could say anything. They could say they support Palestine. They could say they support Israel. It doesn't matter. What are you doing about it? How are you doing it? Are you vocal? Are you somebody like me getting on here and talking about things like this that you know may prevent your chance of ever working, ever working in an industry? Okay. Are you somebody putting your money? If you have money to spend, if you have loads of money, are you putting your money where your, your mouth is, you know? Susan Sarandon and Cynthia Nixon, I applaud these ladies a hundred and well, a thousand percent for what they're doing because they are putting their careers, they are putting their families' lives, livelihood, everything on the line to support something they believe in. They do not believe in these wars. They do not believe in Israel carrying out such vicious attacks against people because it is actually at this point, in my opinion, you know, genocide, you know, it's genocide that's happening. And she says this, you know,